Hey guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. And guys, Ford just announced that a new EV, the Ford Capri. So we're going to be breaking down. We're going to be looking at this and kind of talking about the company in general. You know, you guys know I'm a money guy. I'm a stock guy. So yes, we're going to look at the stock here for a second as well. So I'm excited about this. I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Carter. You know, we talk about everything money on this channel and uh, pretty much any news that I find interesting. So like, subscribe, do what you guys do. And uh, let's just uh, jump into this here. So, you know, one of the things here, is Ford they they had this car in the past and what I think Ford has been doing a lot of lately is bringing back old cars and the reason I say that is one they brought the they brought the Bronco back they announced their new Mustang EV a little bit ago which was that Mustang SUV style car now they announced this the Ford Capri and what this article here it pretty much states that Ford uh, slapped another old name on a new EV honestly what I'm getting out of this is like a Chevy Equinox Chevy uh can't think of that car, but some sh sort of SUV style, like a very, very basic style. So Ford's classic Capri Coupe is returning as a four-door electric uh, vehicle with a profile resembling other chunky looking uh, electric crossovers like the, I'm not sure what that one is, the Polestar 2. Uh, Ford Europe design uh, director, I don't even know that name, says the look follows an imagined evolution of the Capri since production ended in 1986 as inspired by the rising uh, popularity of SUVs. So this is kind of the car here, as you guys can see. You know, it, it gives off just a very basic thing. It doesn't look super crazy. I feel like where the inside looks nice. I love. It looks like we have some sort of LEDs on the side, a uh, nice touch screen in the middle. You know, I would love to see this car in person, to be honest with you. You guys can see here those LEDs, big touch screen as well. Looks like some nice uh, speakers, but nothing like super, super crazy here. <laughs> and and yes, I do think this is a good thing for the company here, but also you you have to understand like if you're looking at Ford and you're like, oh man, should I buy? If you're like on the stock side of it, should I buy this stock? Personally, Ford stock is super, super, you know, there's so much float of it. There's so many shares out there that it's hard to get any movement out of this thing. I think it's a decent play for you know, just for fun and being diversified. But as far as growth goes, his, you know, looking at this here, you, you guys can see that Ford has just been like super, super volatile lately. You know, if we, if we compare it to just like the general, um, you know, if we just compare Ford to just like the general S and P 500, you guys will see that Ford has been very, very, uh, kind of underperforming, right? You guys can see that they've had those spikes in 2021 where everybody was buying EVs, then just kind of slowly stair-stepped its way down and hasn't been doing very well since. And even look over the over the year, six months, it was pretty much break even, three months, and then one month is pretty much break even. But in my opinion, I just think that Ford is doing, they're trying to do new things, which is exciting. Um, but I also think right now we're, we're in a weird marketplace for cars. You know, we're seeing a lot of people not actually buying cars. We're not seeing a lot of it. And a lot of it has to do with just interest rates and just the economy um, and purchasing power. You know, like a couple of years ago, yeah, a couple years ago, I think we all remember going to the grocery store. It was a lot cheaper than it is today. You know, cars have gone down in price a little bit, but you're paying more in interest. People have have other things to pay for now, like more expensive groceries and all that stuff. So, you know, I'm excited to see kind of how this car looks. If it does well, you know, I would love an SUV, but um, to, to get. So guys, let me know what you guys think about this stock or with the about this car and the stock. Uh, let me know down below. So I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.